In this video, I'll demonstrate how to run the for non Lorker criterion analysis by using input from Smart VLS2. As you know that this method is used to test discriminant validity of any model. So let's go to Smart VLS. So this is Smart VLS2 and this I have already created a model which consists of four constructs. Let me run the analysis. Go to calculate and run PLS algorithm. Then generate report. I need two pieces of information from this table. One is the correlation matrix that I can find here. And second one is the AVE. AVE I can find in the option of overview. Let me first copy the matrix of correlation coefficients. And bring it to spreadsheet. Here you see these are the correlation coefficients. For example, 0.2177 is the correlation coefficient between EI and whatever. So let me remove all extra information. So the formal larger criterion suggests that square root values of AV of the respective construct should be placed on the diagonal sides of the collision coefficient table. And if these values exceed their respective collision coefficient falling between below them in the column and in the respective rows, so then discriminant validity is established. So let's bring the matrix of ABA. Since I don't need information other than AV, so let me remove extra information. So let me now create another table, another column that is for square root of AV. And uh, point 0.5, so power point 0.5, so that will So you see, so these are the values of square root values of AVE of these constructs. So these values have to be placed here on the diagonal sides. For example, here, so this, here I need to put the information for EI. So this is the square root AVE of EI. And here, is for motives. You see his for the motives. And here in column of OP, I need to bring square root value of AVE of OP. And finally for SI. Now the analysis suggests that the formal or criterion suggests that this value must exceed all values lying below it and in the corresponding row and the column. Now you see this value is 0.889. So this exceeds all these values. This 0 0.21, 0 0.39, 0 0.22. And there's no value of the correlation coefficient in that respect in that row. So criteria is satisfied here. In case of motive, the value of square root of AV is 0.857. So this exceeds all these values and also this one. So criteria is established, is satisfied here also. In third case, in case of OP, you see here, 0.811 exceeds this one and also these two values mean in the row as well as in the column. So criteria is satisfied here also. And the same is case with the SI. Since there is no value in the column, so all values are in the rows. So you see all these values are far below the, so then this value. So that means, so the criteria is satisfied. So that means uh, discriminant validity is established.
Thanks for watching.